Hey guys, good morning. It's bright and early at 5.30 in the morning and we're brewing today. So uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna be brewing a double hazy IPA. I'm calling it the One Love. It's gonna have El Dorado, Amarillo, Simcoe, Citra, and Galaxy. Should be pretty sweet. Stay tuned to the end so you can see the tasting. Thanks. Okay. Mash in uh, the dough in time. Take our grains very carefully. Add them to our water. Try not to spill them everywhere. Because I only have one person and my partner in crime, Bardicus, is still asleep. Must be nice to be sleeping. Um, Got to do this in stages here. What you do is. Uh, uh, when you only have one person, you add a little bit at a time, just make sure there's no clumping. So you stir in a little bit, mix it up, stir in a little bit more, so on until you got it all in there, I guess. Pretty much all you gotta do. So you can see the grains here, pour it in there. Make sure, the reason for stirring is you don't want clumping. You gotta make sure that the grains are kind of not clumped up. So just periodically just mix it in okay guys I just finished in stirring in all the grains and now it's just sitting um, I've got to wait about 10 minutes before I can recirculate um, so the grain bed builds up on the bottom okay as you guys can see the malt pipe has been lifted up out of the, uh, the kettle here and we're just doing some straining and uh, once it's done straining, uh, we're going to be boiling. We're gonna, we've got the kettle set to boil, although the temp is not really rising very much. Um, so yeah, we'll just wait for this to strain, and then we'll show you the next steps. That's my uh, buddy Bart. He's the brew expert, or Barticus, we like to call him. <laughs> and that's my daughter Lana, who likes to play with painted rocks. So yeah, stay tuned, guys. Guys, okay, so I pulled out the uh, mull pipe. It finally finished draining. There's the grains, as you can see down in there. They're just sitting in this bucket, and I'll just dispose of those. The wort now is uh, coming up to a boil. We're at, what, 200 degrees. It needs to get up to 212 to boil. As you can see, I don't know if you can see on here. I'll get to my screen. This is, I'm using the Brew Father brewing app to help keep track of everything. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, the steps for now, and then we'll... Uh, Check back when we start adding in the hops and I'll film that. Guys, we're just about to add in the first hop addition into this boil. So uh, let me show you what we're going to throw in there in just a second here. About 30 seconds we're going to add them in. But this is what I'm going to put in there. About half ounce each of Galaxy and Citra for our bittering addition. So uh, in about 30 seconds I'm going to throw it in there. Also I'm going to be throwing in a Warflock tablet and some yeast nutrient. Now some people might think, why would you add your Warflock to a Hazy? I just like doing it. It kind of gives it like a chill haze. So, uh, let me get the hops now. Okay, and as you guys can see it, that is the hop additions and the uh, yeast nutrient and Warflock. So let's add that into the boil as our first addition. All right. Now that it's added, uh, we'll let it uh, kind of uh, mingle with the liquid. And I'm going to add the chiller, let it go for another 10 minutes, and then chill it. Okay, guys, it's uh, just about time, about 30 seconds before I add this immersion chiller to sanitize it before we start cooling the wort down. Uh, but as you can see, I've got it connected up to the water line here, and then I'm going to run the other line outside into our drain. But uh, right about now, about 14 seconds, I'm going to add in the chiller. I'm not going to turn the water on until about another 10 minutes just so that it sanitizes it. I might even turn on the uh, pump too to sanitize that also. So we will do that in just a second right now. Let's just add it in just to sanitize. So here it is. I'm just going to grab it, 
pick it up, throw it in there, just like that. Set it in there, and it's kind of like, oh shit. There's some water left, <laughs> some residual water left in there, just sprayed out and got me. But uh, yeah, it's just gonna sit in there like that. And um, we're gonna sanitize. Let's turn on the pump, see if we can do that too. Got the pump on. Just let that sanitize as well. And then, uh, yeah, in about 10 minutes, I'll uh, show you what the next Boil's step is. done, let's kill the power. Okay, power off. Set the temp to like 60, 65 maybe. Okay, let's turn on the water. Open this up a little bit. Just barely. We'll start out slow. We're adding the water, turning it on. Okay, now it's time to add the second addition, which is the aroma of the beer, and that is Eldorado. So. Here's what we're gonna be adding in there. Lena, this is gonna be what we're gonna put in there. Here it is right here, two ounces going in. And we're still war pulling, so let's just add that in there. Very good, that's that. It's gonna go for about another 10 minutes, and then, uh, yeah, then we'll be done. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm doing a quick whirlpool here. It's not super strong because there's quite a lot of hops in this um, this brew, but uh, it's just gonna go like this with no heat, about 10 minutes, and then um, uh, as you can see, I'm running the chiller. It's got cold. It's got medium or uh, room temp water going through it. Yeah, that's right, honey. And then uh, yeah, as you can see, we're dropping temp. We are at. We were at 212, now we're at 201. We went down 12 degrees or 11 degrees in five seconds. So yeah, gotta get down to 65. So that's our goal. So we're gonna let this go for a while. It might take about 20 minutes or so. So check back. Hey guys, it, uh, it finished in there. I already kind of transferred it to the carboy. I forgot to record that because I was so busy here. But um, the beer was slightly under what I was projecting. It's gonna be about 6% instead of seven, which is fine. I don't know, I went somewhere wrong in my efficiency, but uh, still acceptable, 6% IPA. This is totally fine, hazy. And uh, there it is, it's in the fridge, and we gotta get it down to uh, roughly 68, 70, before I can pitch the yeast. So we, it's right at 70, 76, 74, so we gotta chill it down a little bit. And um, I've got the um, Imperial, uh, barbarian yeast, ill yeast, so that's going to go in there when in, it's at the right temp. So, uh, yeah, that's the brewing process. So, uh, as soon as um, uh, it's ready, stay tuned and wait to the end, and um, I'll show you how it turned out. Thanks for uh, joining me on the brew day. Hey guys, Wh uh, Whiskey Matt back. I'm just doing uh, racking. It's final day to uh, start uh, racking this five gallon uh, hazy on top of my. Uh, into my keg here, I've got two, two and a half gallons. This one's gonna have uh, infused with coconut and then that one's just gonna be standard. But as you can see, I'm just racking it out right now. It's going down. And also a quick indication of how full the keg is. See that condensation? I don't know if you can see it, but there's a condensation line. That tells you how full it is. So it's like a quarter of the way full right now. But uh, yeah, stay tuned and uh, there'll be a tasting at the end. So. Uh, Check it out. Thanks. Okay, guys. Finally, the brew is ready. It's the hazy, the one love. As uh, Doug likes uh, reggae music, so I named it after, kind of in, in with inspiration from him. It's the uh, the one love hazy. That's true. Hey, but j hey, it's it's almost time. He's got to go. Get so we got to hey, we got to do this really quick, but. Uh, yeah, so uh, here's the hazy. We want to just try it out and see how it tastes. I mean, it's been 14 days. Might as well give it a shot and see how it tastes.
Cheers. Cheers. Nice. Yeah, it's got a good flavor. Very smooth, a little bit of a kind of a pine salt on the senses there a little bit. Finish it smooth. It's I like the color of it. It's not super carved up. It's only been carbureted in it for about one day, so. Yeah, a little tiny yeah. bit on the flat side. So Bare, yeah. a little bit. Uh, Needs a little bit more time, there. but it's still good. Even the smell, it's got kind of that little fruity, citrusy vibe going on. Yeah, there. It's, yeah. It's, I like the first hazy I made, but this one is okay, so-so. But It's smooth, it's an easy drinker, it's not bitter. Yeah, this is actually a dangerous beer. This is a dangerous beer. A hot day, this thing will go down. What's up, dude? Super fast. Hey, hi, everybody. Little boy's coming. Hey, Rocky. what's up, little man? What are we doing? Watch out. What are Uncle Matt and Doug doing? Or Dad doing? Hey, be careful. Okay, there he goes. Stay there. Say, say cheese. cheese. Say cheers. Cheers. Rogan, say cheers for beers. <laughs> that was good. But yeah, so uh, yeah, the hazy came out good, and I'm happy uh, that you know we could finally taste it. It's it's been a long uh, journey, kind of brewing it up, but uh, yeah, that's the process. Hey, so, most importantly, it's beer and it's cold, and then, yeah. We're enjoying it. That's all that matters. Exactly. So, uh, cheers to all of you. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and uh, yeah, catch man. me on the next one. And I gotta go home because it's almost seven o'clock. Yeah. Cheers.